Hey guys, welcome back to another Toronto Tuners video. Uh, today I'm going to be giving you guys a full walk around of my car. Well, everything I've ever done to it, how I maintain it, everything. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so here we are. So this is my 2014 Mitsubishi Lancer Rally Art. It has the 2 liter turbo 4B11T engine that it shares with the Mitsubishi Evolution. So I got this car in the summer of 2016, I believe. I picked it up because I needed something better for winter. And winters can get pretty bad here in uh, Ontario. Stock Rally Arts, they put out about 240 horsepower at the crank. I have mine uh, modified and custom tuned to put out 400 at the crank roughly we're still in the middle of tuning we were just struggling with a boost leak issue that i've uh, now corrected should be ready to finish tuning i'm not hoping for much more power i honestly like it the way it is um, it's still my daily and i like street driving it so as far as it goes on the outside for mods um, we have this rally star style uh, front lip uh, that you guys saw in the last video um, I had a color match cosmic blue. The other part is this replica evolution wing that I had color matched as well. These are the wheels that I am running. These are uh, Advan uh, TC3s. They're uh, wrapped in the Indy 500 Firehawks. I've been using these uh, these tires for. Just, uh, just under a year now and so far I like them. I haven't been able to use them at the track yet, uh, but hopefully soon enough uh, we'll make a video going to the track and you guys can see how well this, how well these tires perform. I also have the, the FQ400 bent from the uh, European style evolution. So in the last video I said I'd talk about these six piston Brembo brakes. So these come off the Cadillac CTSV or the, I believe it's the Corvette ZL1, I could be wrong. Guy down in uh, states that takes these calipers and he machines them to fit on the rally art knuckles. And just because the way it's designed, it will not work with Evo knuckles. Too much work to make it fit. These are pretty much a direct bolt on for rally arts. And as you can see, I did have them powder coated in this illusion orange done by uh, Brightside Customs down in Scarborough, Ontario. I take everything that I want powder coated there, even the wheels, they were done there and the work is top notch. Never had an issue. I'm gonna pop the hood now so you guys can see what I have done in the engine bay. So first thing you'll notice, I have uh, these Club Spec Customs hood dampers installed. Make life so much easier lifting the hood. Um, another thing is this Illusion Orange valve cover, also done by Brightside Customs. As far as induction goes, this is the Synapse Engineering Upper Intercooler Pipe. I did have to have it modified, as you can see, where we cut and welded. Uh, it wasn't a very good fit, we had to modify it. I have this Mishimoto. Universal oil cash can. Weapon R uh, coolant overflow tank. I have this really nice genuine rally art radiator cap. As far as uh, visual goes, that's pretty much it. The stuff that you can't see, it has a full ultimate racing turbo back exhaust, test pipe, no cat. Still has mufflers on it because I, I don't like it being too loud. Uh, I just hate the loud sound. It is turbo swapped with a stock frame turbo, larger wheel installed inside on the 18G TDO4 setup. I have this tile QRJ blow off valve or bypass valve. As far as intake goes, it's a uh, stock intake, K&N drop and filter, which is really all I need for the power I'm pushing. Doesn't really need a full intake. I'm just using uh, stock lower Evo X intercooler pipe. I'm not sure the brand of this intercooler, but it is slightly bigger than the Evo X stock intercooler. Okay, moving on to the interior. 
So as you notice, Recaro seats, these come factory with the Lancer Rally Art. Very, very nice seats. I love the bolstering in these. This is my triple gauge setup. Gauge pod is from Glow Shift. Fitment is all right, not perfect, but does the job. All my gauges are from AEM. Got my AFR gauge, boost gauge, and my transmission temperature gauge. This is a energy uh, steering wheel. I'm not sure the, the model, but I really like the feel of it. It is quick release too, so I can take it off if I want to. The paddle extensions. These are from Shift Concepts, I believe, and they're just snap-on carbon fiber. I really like them. Give you more extended reach all the way around the steering wheel compared to the stock ones. Up here, have a genuine rally art dash mount. It's a nice rare piece. This trim here, I wrapped it myself. All it goes around the door, just in like a fake carbon fiber print. It's nice, adds a little touch to the car. Shift knob, this is like one of the first mods I did the car, my friend bought this for me. I really like the feel of it. It's like a, like a rally style shifter. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. Right now it's on a, it's on a custom tune uh, by Silver Tune Performance. Uh, it's putting down roughly 320 to the wheels. Like I said, we are still tuning, so we could make a little bit more than that. As far as maintaining the car, I always change the, the transmission fluid about every 25,000, 30,000 kilometers, roughly. Um, it is a dual clutch transmission, so it does need to be changed regularly. A lot of people say that the transmission is very sensitive and it's like glass. I tend to disagree. The transmission is very, very strong. Um, it's just due to people who don't maintain it. They put in wrong fluids. They think it's like a, you know, your conventional manual transmission, which it isn't. It's very, very much different. Yeah, I just feel like people don't know how to maintain it properly. And they think local transmission shops will be able to deal with it. It's, it's not true. It's a very delicate transmission. Um, and it needs to be serviced properly with OEM fluids. All right, so let's get out there now. Um, <clears throat> I'll do a quick pull for you guys so you can see uh, how she's driving right now. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for today. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe and leave a like. And yeah, see you in the next one.